Hello, how are you today? I'm very good, very good. Okay, so what am I doing? Saying so the lovely Wa Hin. Well, I've lived in this city for eight years and I've got a pretty good understanding of where to stay, where to eat, where to find the best steak, where to find the best pizza, where to find the best Sunday roast. For the next eight weeks, every Wednesday, I'm gonna be uploading a video. I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five businesses of that genre that you guys should be visiting. Whether you're a tourist or an expat, I think you're gonna find these locations very helpful. There's gonna be no particular order, so the top five, it doesn't mean that someone's number one or someone's number five. So today we're gonna to start off with Thai food restaurants. We're gonna go around, I'm gonna show you where they are. All the Google map links for these places will be in the description. Next week, we're gonna be doing hotels. Please understand that this is not an affiliate. I'm not being paid by any of these businesses. Um, I'm paying for my own meals. I'm getting nothing for free. This is only for your guys' references. Okay, our first restaurant today and our top five Thai restaurants in Wai Hin is a restaurant called Kok Kanya. And it's actually three kilometers from the center of Wai Hin. This is very popular with Thai families and Thai locals. The first dish here, this is a fried pork with garlic. This dish was a hundred baht. And let's just have a look at that pork. Yum. And this is our second dish, tom yum gung. So it's got shrimp and tom yum soup. And this is, this is really, really tasty, this one. Okay, so let's give this crispy pork with garlic a try. This is a tom yum. Lovely, not too, not too sweet, not too sour, it's excellent. Total came to 300 baht, so that was two dishes and a Coke. So I'll put the currency conversion in now and let's move on to the next restaurant. Okay, so here's another restaurant in our top five Thai, Thai restaurants in Wa Hin. And there's no surprises here, is there? Ken's Kitchen, famous Ken's Kitchen. If you've been following my videos for a while, you would know Ken. A lot of people have actually came here, a lot of my subscribers have came here and tried Ken's food. It's one of the best in town, if not the best. His Thai food is a lot more westernized than uh, what you'd normally find in Thailand, but the flavor is amazing. Beautiful, that's the lovely thing that you put about. Okay. Here you are. This is ready for my cooking for today. First one we present. This is a sample of Thai curry we call mango curry with chicken or you can have with your favorite. It can be pork or seafood or prawn. But the one that I make today is chicken mango curry. And this is a homemade, our appetizer, that's the curry pop. Okay, we're going to start with the curry puff. Now these are homemade, Ken makes these all himself. The, the pastry is like so flaky. And inside, that's like your curry puff mixture. But the pastry is crispy, buttery, goodness. Okay, so let's try this mango curry. Yum, look at that. Get some of that fresh mango. Mm -mm. This is going to be the another dish we will present we call Pad Thai. Just the basic of the Thai, traditional Pad Thai. Yeah, we got prawn inside, we just wrap with the Thai omelette. Okay, so we've got the Pad Thai with shrimp and noodle. I'm going to put some, uh, put some lime sauce on that. Okay, so that pad thai is amazing. Price for this with the king prawns is uh, 120 baht. The mango curry, which is the must try if you ever come to this restaurant, is 190 baht. Okay, so the curry puff is 90 baht for four. And these are a must try appetizer if you do come to Ken's Kitchen. Okay, Ken, so you had a business in New Zealand? Yes, I do, yeah. 
I've been living in New Zealand since 1991. I've been working in the restaurant, you know, with few restaurants there uh, for five or six years until I start for my own business in 1990, uh, in 1995, you know, and the 2003 that, you know, I have the, the it's in my portal 2003 that I have opportunity for the competition and one of my restaurants is Red Chili, in percent under the name Red Chili. And yeah, I run the Thai restaurant in Christchurch, you know, in New Zealand, South Island, almost about 15, 17, almost about 17 years. Yeah, I'm just back, moved back to Thailand just a year before the COVID start, actually. I'm original from Hoa Hin. This is my home. Okay, so here we are at Jay Noi. This is one of my favorite Thai restaurants, and it's very reasonably priced and in a great location. If you're staying in the center of Wai Hin, either at the Hilton or around Bintabad area, you've got to come and check this place out. Most dishes start from 40 baht and go up to 60 baht. So it's very reasonably priced and it's amazing. It's got a great street food taste to it. Okay, so this is the famous Pad Krapau. This is pork with basil and chili. A little bit of chili, I'm not much of a spicy person. Um, you always get it with the fried egg. Let's have a look at this egg. Look at that, beautifully cooked egg, yum. So what you normally do is you just normally mix that up. Put some rice, pad for pow. And that's amazing. This dish is crispy pork with sweet pepper. This dish is also 60 bar. So the meals here are very reasonably priced. Um, can't go wrong. So again, put some of that yolk in there. That's very good. A little bit of spice, but amazing. Okay, so that's the bill for two dishes, is 110 baht. We've got another top contender for the top five Thai food in Wahin. This place is called Spark, and it's at Henlek Fly, which is about 5.6 kilometers from the center of Wahin. This place is very popular with the locals, since a lot of people do live around here. The prices of these dishes do start from about 100 baht and go up to about 160 baht. So we're gonna go and try the food. All the Google map links will be in the description. So this is the restaurant here. So we've got plenty of tables. We're gonna sit over here, I think. So this is a chicken cashew. Um, it's got chicken with like a lovely oyster sauce gravy. So this dish here is 120 baht. And it comes with rice. Very, very tasty. It's got some capsicum. Stir fried chicken and cashew nut. Here is a stir fried pork with vegetable and some very big servings. That's the thing about here, Spark, you get very big servings. This dish here is 120 baht. Here's another dish that we've got here at Spark Cafe. This is called Lard Tob. Um, it's like a spicy pork that's been deep fried. Um, I'll take one of those. Just crack one open. So there you go. Tastes pretty much like an Eastern sausage, but a lot more taste, yeah. So we'll try that. Amazing Thai dish, this one. So that's the that's the bill here at Spark Cafe for three dishes, a Coke and a water, and the price came to 405 baht. Okay, so here's another one of our top five restaurants in Hua Hin that you must try. It's called Ban Kwan Suan. It's in Khao Tao. Now this restaurant was open one year ago and it's already been a success. You can't book on weekends or on public holidays, it just gets too busy. They are very famous for their fresh seafood, like example, crab and prawn, and they've also got some amazing Thai dishes. So let's go in and find out what all the fuss is about. Let's go. As you can see, there's plenty of tables, but I think it does get quite busy on the weekend. You've got tables down there, tables all through here, and you've also got tables over here. So it's a really big place. Som's getting into it. How is it, Som? Is it good? Yes, I enjoy. You enjoy, you always enjoy food, don't you? 
So the kitchen's very big. This is the kitchen in here. So we're going to start off with the, first, the signature dish that they have here at this restaurant, which is a crab meat with rice, with shallots, and fish sauce with chili. Look how much crab is actually on that. And it says crab meat. You know, the, all the goodness that you could want. So we have to try, have to try some crab. Mm, that's amazing. So fresh. So fresh. And we've got another one here. This is called scrambled prawn. So it's actually a, a prawn dish with, with scrambled eggs through it. Like a really soft scrambled egg. Let's just get one of these prawns. Look at this prawn here. It's got all like scrambled egg through it there. Yum, look at the size of those things. So fresh too. Straight from the... Mmm. That's amazing. That's the price for the crab dish, the prawn dish with the scrambled eggs, and a bottle of Coke. Came to 539 baht. So I put the currency conversion in now. But this place is amazing, so fresh. Definitely return here. Um, or the Google Map link will be in the description. Please come and try it.